How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we're going to take a look at if spot spraying affects your yield and how that relates to your environmental score. What I've got here is the John Deere R732i. This is this power spray. We do have the cameras attached to this one. I've also got a field of oats right here that I just planted. We haven't put any fertilizer or any herbicide on this field at all. Here you can see on the map, our environmental score right now is 70, and that is because we aren't showing any nitrogen at all. If I come across over here to pH, you can see that it's perfect. Our nitrogen, we are gonna have to put this down as we go through this test, and the map is also showing no weeds. The way we're gonna run this test is I'm gonna do multiple different things to these fields, and then I'm gonna reset back after I harvest them and figure out what our yield is and our environmental score. The first one is, I'm not gonna do anything at all except put fertilizer down once the crop grows to the first month. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the herbicide spray right now. We're gonna put this on the entire field. We're gonna use a regular sprayer though, the hardy sprayer that we have over here and not the John Deere. And the reason for this is that I feel like this is a really good test because a lot of players are still gonna to wanna to play this way because of the way that we played originally before precision farming. And I wanna see what type of yield loss or environmental score loss we're going to have with this because it says that if you spray the entire field you are going to get a lower environmental score so we're going to check that out too and the reason we're doing these two things is because i want to establish some baselines what's going to happen if i don't do anything at all to my herbicide and i just let it be now we know that our environmental score it says that if you don't do anything at all you're not going to lose any points so i want to know is that going to be right in the middle of our environmental score or is that going to leave it where it was Currently right now on weed control, this field is at a perfect score. So is it gonna drop if we don't do anything at all? Or is it gonna stay there from the previous harvest? And whenever we spray the entire field, that also says that there is a reduction of your environmental score. And I'm just really curious to know how much that is going to be. And is it maybe worth doing that if our yield is higher than whenever we spot spray? Now, I don't know right now if spot spraying does reduce it or not. That's what this test is for. And speaking of spot spraying, that's what we're going to do here for the third part. And it's actually going to be three different tests in one. What we're going to do is we are going to let our crops grow a little bit. We're going to get small weeds in the field, and then we're going to spot spray right then. We're going to get the yield results, and we're going to get the environmental score. And then we're going to come back. We're going to let the weeds get up to a medium height, and then we're going to do the exact same thing. And then the last part of it, we are going to take a look at if the weeds are fully grown and they're, you know, got the flowers on top. We're going to take a look at that right there. What does the yield look like and what does our environmental score look like? All right. So we just got done with the harvest here on the last test. And I want to go ahead and start going over what we did on the first test. And that was going to be doing nothing at all to the weeds here in the field. We let them grow all the way. And what we got was a yield of 8,843. Now, our environmental score on that was 100%. And that gave us a bonus of 15% whenever we sell our crops. And that confirms the theory that whenever you don't do anything to the field at all, for the weeds at least, then it's going to keep the same score that it had the previous time. So you're not getting any type of reduction at all. So if you're not wanting to really do any herbicide or anything like that, it's not a huge hit, I don't think. We're gonna take a look and see what it actually does with the other ones right now. And that's gonna be herbiciding the full field with the hardy sprayer. Now we let this grow for four months because we have oats and our yield was 9,385. So about 550 liters more than we had if we didn't do anything at all. Now, unfortunately, it did reduce our environmental score down to 88 as you can see here and our weed score was only 18 on this and that gave us a bonus of 11 percent whenever we go to sell our crops so i feel like as of right now then you should definitely put a herbicide on the field now i don't know which one of these is better if you don't do anything at all or if you spray before and that's why we're going to go ahead and take a look at the spot spraying so the first test here was taking a look at small weeds. We made sure that it said small weeds in our menu and the yield was 9,378. 
our environmental score was 100 and that gave us a 15 percent bonus again so so far you know that is the best results that we've seen now now i know there was a little bit of a difference between herbiciding the field all the way with the other sprayer and the spot sprayer right here but it's only about what like seven liters so it's not a big enough of a difference to make a huge difference so i feel like you definitely want to go ahead and spot spray as of right now with the um john deere or there are a couple of the other hardies i believe that do have the option to be able to buy those cameras next we wanted to take a look at medium weeds and this was going to be after two days of crop growth here um fortunately because with the oats like i said it's four months so we went, let the weeds grow till it said medium in the menu down in the bottom right hand corner the yield on this was 8852 once again we got a hundred percent environmental score and the bonus was 15 percent so it looks like if you wait a little while so those weeds are a little bit bigger you are going to get a yield now it was only about what 525 uh liters here but if you've got a really big field that could be quite a bit that's thousands of dollars that you could lose by doing it that way so i highly recommend getting that spraying done as early as you can in the day because what i saw here whenever i was flipping through time about seven or eight o'clock in the morning is when these crops would change from one status to the next and the weeds were doing the same thing so make sure if you're flipping through time you're you're getting there early in the day to be able to do that because if you wait till later in the day you might switch over to the next size and then you're going to lose some of that yield and the next one that we wanted to take a look at was the large weeds and this is what we have here in the uh, harvester it's 8858 liters so the same yield as if we had medium weeds we're getting here on large weeds again our environmental score was 100 again and you can see that the bonus is going to be 15 percent so if you're going to spot spray you've got to do it early you've got to do it really early as soon as those weeds start to appear and they're at their smallest status because if you wait, it's going to cost you um, yield, which is ultimately going to cost you money. Well, everybody, I guess the answer to the question here is yes and no. Spot spraying does reduce your yield if you wait to do it when the weeds are medium or tall. So definitely get it done early. And um, that's going to be it, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. Go to stay up to date on all my precision farming videos here on the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell too. You know, while you guys are waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.